Five sentence completion questions in five minutes or less. Let's start with the question. It's always gonna be like this. Which choice most logically completes the text? Usually you're gonna see that this blank is at the end of the paragraphs, but remember we wanna know what the paragraph is about, so we're gonna read the first sentence first. Feudalism was an important economic and social system in medieval Europe, which had a large impact on the development of the region. And I'm going to look now at the final sentence. What does it say? So this system was influential in shaping the development of the European continent. And so all I want to do with sentence completion is take a look at the answer choices that stay most focused on that topic. So the very first one talking about superstitions and myths, we can rule that out. Uh, the growth of a powerful and influential noble class that would shape the social and political landscape of Europe is probably the right answer because feudalism is a social system that also influences politics. Like that's what it's about. So it makes sense that B would be the right answer. I'll quickly check the other two. Emergence of new technologies and inventions. No, that's not what it's about. And foundations of democracy in the region, I don't think that stemmed out of feudalism directly. We could argue that it was, you know, the cause of revolutions that later led to democracy, but feudalism itself had nothing to do with democracy. We're going to mark B and move on. Okay, question two. Again, I want to look at the first sentence. It says the invention of the computer has revolutionized our world in countless ways. And when I get to the very end of this paragraph, I can see here that it says the invention of the computer has been a game changer. It's now going to ask probably for some kind of summary or, you know, sort of wrap up of this whole paragraph. So if I take a look at my answer choices, I can see that the very first one is pretty long, but it talks about how it has transformed our lives in many ways, which is kind of what the first sentence was saying. And so that leads me to believe this could be a really good answer. When I look at the entire response A, I don't see any factual mistakes or anything that's unrelated to the paragraph. When I look at D, even though it's very similar, it does say communication in our immediate area, which is kind of not true when we're talking about computers and the internet. So I think it's safe to say that D would be wrong, even though it's very similar to A. B and C have a very negative tone. They, they mention negatives of computers, which is not something that the paragraph did. So I want to make sure I also stick to the tone of the paragraph. A is the best choice. Question three, we get the Art Nouveau mo movement. Movement? Movement? It's, it's a movement? The Art Nouveau mo... I can't say it. The Art Nouveau movement of the late 19th and early 20th centuries had a profound impact on the artistic and architectural landscape of the era. Okay, many of the principles and aesthetics introduced during this time have been adopted by modern artists, comma, and we're going to finish that sentence. Okay, so what I understand here is that we're going to talk about something related to those modern artists, how they're applying this old movement to their work today. Since we're focusing on the modern artists, I don't think we're gonna go back in time, which is what A and B do. We wanna finish with what those modern artists do or have done and like how that's related to this movement. Uh, C says who refuse to continue to shape or influence the design industry. That doesn't really make sense. Modern artists would always be shaping an industry uh, so I think we're going to be stuck with D here, inspiring the works of many contemporary creatives and continuing to shape the artistic world of today. Yes. Okay. So that seems like the right answer. That explains what those modern artists are doing. War and Peace is a classic novel by Leo Tolstoy that examines the impact of war and its consequences on the people of Russia. We can see here at the end, it says its influence has been profound, comma, we're going to finish that sentence. We're looking for its influence and based on the title, I mean, it tells you about the impact of war and its consequences. The title's War and Peace. Like I'm willing to bet that it's not exactly a positive review of war for the people of Russia. So let's take a look at our options. Inspiring generations of readers to think more deeply about the consequences of war, the power of peace, and the importance of understanding the motivations of human behavior in times of conflict. That sounds like a really good answer. I'm probably going to mark that. Hey, last question. The invention of the cotton gin had a massive impact on the American economy. If you don't know what a cotton gin is, that's okay. You can read the next sentence if you need that information. It says that it revolutionized the way cotton was processed, allowed for faster production and increased efficiency. The last sentence says the introduction of Eli Whitney's cotton gin helped lay down some of the building blocks that. Now, we're talking about an agrarian economy cotton, you know, being able to process it faster. So I'm going to expect that it has something to do with economics because of what it said in the first sentence. And the first option there talks about politics. So I know that's probably wrong. The second one says an increase in world temperatures due to industrialization. I think that's a little too extreme to blame on the cotton gin. Uh, propelled the country into ambitious space exploration even more extreme. Uh, I don't think you could argue that the cotton gin is what brought Neil Armstrong to the moon. And if you believe the moon landing was fake, I want you to unsubscribe right now. 
now because that's un-American. We went to the moon. Don't be jealous that your country couldn't do it. That leaves us with D. Would eventually lead America becoming one of the world's most influential economic powers. That matches with our topic sentence about economy. That's the right answer. Mark D, move on and let's get out of here.